So you must build boat has got these things called fancy dungeons. The idea behind them is that I want to make each run feel different somehow. So I do that by modifying the dungeons. Dungeons have two main properties. Quality and danger. The higher the quality, the better loot you're going to get. And danger does a couple of things. Monsters will hit harder, have more health, that sort of thing. Where it gets interesting is that you don't just want to run through dungeons, right? You want to have some kind of quests. And when you add quests to your dungeon, it changes. Often this is as simple as just changing the danger and quality values. And I like that because if you're struggling, you can just add one quest. And maybe it increases the danger a little bit, the quality only a little bit. Or you could add three quests and then even at the start of the dungeon, it's going to be very high quality, very high danger. It's a way of having a difficulty setting where people can choose their own difficulty without having an explicit, easy, medium, hard choice. Then we've got dungeon modifiers. Each dungeon in You Must Build About is separated into segments, which will typically last around a minute each. And when you get into another segment, you'll roll a new modifier. This can be good, bad, or neutral, but it's often going to change the way that you play a dungeon. And the modifier selected will influence quality and danger too. So if you roll a really nice modifier like Witch Chests, danger is going to get a massive buff to offset that. But if you roll a bad modifier, say Vulnerability, which means enemies will now penetrate your shield, then the quality will go up quite a bit to reward you if you manage to do well in that dungeon. One of the best things about this system is that it'll uh, change the way you play. So let's say you roll more chests. It's shown as a yellow neutral modifier because well, you'd expect more chests to be a really good thing. And you'll certainly be getting more loot. But once the chests start coming thick and fast, you're going to use all your keys and you're going to have none left. And usually you play, you try and keep swords and staves around so you find a monster, you can kill them as quick as possible. But as soon as you see this roll, the right thing you want to do is get rid of them. You want to keep as many keys on your board as possible. But the coolest part of Fancy Dungeons is that modifiers don't just come from running. Entire zones can have a modifier, so every dungeon in the Hell Zone has the Firestorm modifier, which makes enemies immune to fire, but freeze effects last twice as long. But more interestingly, individual quests themselves can bring their own modifiers. It's interesting from a design point of view because I can customise the difficulty of a quest or the flavour of it by manipulating the modifiers. So, say the game often has you disarming traps, there's a quest quite early on to disarm some traps. But we can have a similar quest later on, but we can stick some modifiers on it. It's much more difficult to disarm traps in a fast traps dungeon or in a dark dungeon when you can't see things coming. Or especially in a stacked up fast traps, powerful traps, silent traps, dark dungeon. Or we could have a quest where maybe you've got to go so far without using items. I could give it the no items modifier, which increases the difficulty of the other one. Or I could give it the more items modifier, so the challenge changes to, well, there's going to be items all over the board, you've got to work out how you can work around them without using them. Sorry, right, innit? 